Welcome in the intuitive kitchen. Oh, and great. today we will make some wild baking yeast. Uh, not sourdough starter, but uh, like the yeast you buy in a little package. It's um, a kind of commercially done, so we, we do it all naturally. And it's called wild yeast. Wow. Because there are lots of uh, bacteria in the air. So the yeast is right here all around us. Yeah, all around us. We harvest it. So here I have uh, some spelt. And I will grind this in the stone grinder here. And then add some water and I will show you how to do it. If you like gluten-free, uh, then you just have some other grains like quinoa, rice and, and all that. And if you don't have a grind mill, so just buy the flour. Organic, of course. Right? Okay. So, we'll pour this. So this is it. Wow, beautiful. It's beautiful flower. flower. Fresh flower. This will be like equal to about three spoonful of flour mm -hmm. and about two spoonful of water. So two we, tablespoons? Yeah, two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And then we just mix it like this. So that's just flour and water, mm -hmm. that's it? Yeah, flour and water, and mix it really well. Mm -hmm. So this is starting it, and it needs about seven days. I will show you in a moment. I like to clean this because it hardens while it's uh, curing. And then we cover it not totally. So the oxygen and everything, mm -hmm. it can work. It's, it becomes a real living entity here. Look at all the, the uh, bubbles and everything. Oh, it smells so good like bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has a beautiful smell. After seven days, it should look like this. Mm -hmm. And then you can leave it on the counter and use it whenever you need to. You use half for a bread and then every week uh, one should feed it. It's like a little pet. <laughs> so you put the, like two spoonful of flour and maybe one spoonful of water and mix it up. And if you go away or you're not baking every week or every few days, then just put it in the fridge. You will just cover it like this loosely and put it in the fridge and then it really lasts. We were like nearly two weeks away and it was still good. So don't worry, it will be great. So now every day, one adds the same amount of um, flour and water and if you have lower than 70, 75 degrees in your kitchen then use the oven, the oven light. Um, you have a light probably and it's back there on, on the right. Yeah. And then you put the jar very close to it and close the oven and just leave it there for 24 hours and repeat it for seven days and always leave this in there and you will get beautiful wild yeast. And in the next video I will show how to make a bread or one can make pizza crust or whatever. Thank you. Bye.